It's summertime in Florida, and you know what that means. Mother Nature shakes up the schedule, and damn yeah. I'm Kim Coon here at the World Center of Racing Daytona International Speedway, and this is Rearview Mirror. Mother Nature made her mind that she wanted to see a double feature this 4th of July weekend. So after some rain and two red flags for nearly 19 hours, the Xfinity Series race got into a long green flag run. We looked free and clear, but then the drivers decided they wanted to battle for the win. So we got to see a save, a big wreck, NASCAR overtime, and another big wreck, which gave William Byron wins in back-to-back -back races. And now, the memorable moment of the week. Bring it home. I'll clear to the checker. Stenhouse Jr. wins at Daytona. America, 1776, we are the champs. The feature race in your Saturday doubleheader was the Coke 0400, and a familiar face led the field to green. Some might even say he is the Pied Piper of plate tracks, but I digress. Back to the action. Flat 52. Oh, Dale, no! Junior makes contact with the outside wall after a right side tire failure, putting him two laps down. Would this end his day? By lap 102, Dale worked his way back onto the lead lap, but by lap 106, it was all for naught as Kevin Harvick spins, sending Earnhardt into the wall and home early. We got our last back and was about to have some more fun, get back up in there, mix it up. It's been a wild night. I didn't anticipate this much action and this much, you know, torn up sheet metal. There was still a race to be run and with seven to go, things were heating up. Kyle Larson gets airborne, collecting several contending drivers, leaving the number 13 of Ty Dillon out front. And just when it looked like we were going to have another new winner, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. takes home the win for the second time this season. Well, that does it for this week's Rearview Mirror. Tune in next week as we trade the Sunshine State for the Bluegrass State. And let's see who gets lucky in Kentucky.